Hey there Kitty Crew and welcome back to my channel. Today is a tutorial on how to make some like bloody rags and bandages which you can use for cosplays and costumes of all kinds. I used this technique in my Lara Croft cosplay for her bloody bandages and I just wanted to create a separate video for anyone who might be using it for something else. Okay, um, it's really simple so let's get started and bust these out. Really, for this, you only need some sort of rag or fabric, red and brown acrylic paint, and a paintbrush, and something, I just use some, like a cookie sheet lined with wax paper, or you can do this on anything that you don't really care about getting dirty. So, what I used is this really old pirate dress that I have. As you can tell, it was very well used. Wow, I think there's actually blood on this. Wow, that's not actually that surprising if it is. Really, any fabric that you want to use, you can totally use. It doesn't even have to be white fabric, right? Like if your rags are brown, some other color, go for it. You can also use maybe like an old t-shirt. And if you want to add a little bit of that like weathered color to it, just make a pot of tea dip the fabric in that until it turns the right color that you want and let it dry. Take your fabric, start by cutting a line um, just so that you can like have a line to follow. So let's see it like starts the cut. Ta-da! And by actually ripping it instead of cutting it, you get all of these like weird irregular edges and frayed pieces, which just helps it look a little more authentic. Now for the fun part, the painting part. Once you have all of the materials that I mentioned before, you just wanna start by creating that blood color. So again, I use red and brown acrylic paints for this one. And the trick is to use a little more brown than you would probably think that you need just because actual blood is not really a bright red color so by adding in the brown you make it this more dark sort of rusty kind of color gradually add that brown until it gets to that desired color and all you do is mix the two paints together I just mix it in a glass because later I want to dilute it so the first step is then to apply this color, this paint, directly to the fabric. This is why I use the paint brushes and I just kind of glob it in one central spot and then dab it around around it just so that it's not totally uniform but it is more concentrated to one area. And by starting with this direct adding of the blood it creates like different texture when we do the second layer of blood. So just go ahead and add it on there. Here's what it looks like once that section is all done. See, I just made it very irregular. Then I took what was left over of that paint mixture and added some water to dilute it. And then I just take this like watered down paint and dribble it over where I directly applied the paint. And this is so that it creates this more like bled out effect. And it's also the same color, but lighter. And again, seeps out from the sides. So you can see those two different areas of blood. The first one where you directly added it is more of like this thick, really dark kind of crusty blood. And then once it has that diluted piece, you can see the bled out blood. It just adds more dimension to it. Plus it's fun. Here's the close-up of that finished product so that you can kind of see those different layers and colors working together. It looks nice. Add it to your cosplay and you are good to go. I would also love to hear what projects you guys are using this for, so please go ahead and leave that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. Check out the other videos that I have on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Okay, great. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time. Bye!